My name is Lily and I am a movement artist. Today we are going to explore objects in the sky. This video is a part of the Acadiana Center for the Arts online series, Virtual Art Studio, where teaching artists present lessons in visual arts, dance, music, and more. So you can enjoy them from anywhere. Buckle up, let's go. Let's warm up. Let's start by tapping on our wings to make sure everything's working. Tap, tap, tap on your wings. Tap, 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 tap. Little taps and big taps. Oh, let's make sure these hands are working okay. Grab, 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 and flick, 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 flick. Very good. Now let's see you fly. Stretch your wings and fly. You can have big wings. You can have small wings. You can fly fast. You can fly slow. Very nice. Now, have you ever seen a hot air balloon? Like this one? Hot air balloons fly in the sky by filling up with hot air. So let's get ready. Fill your balloon. Hot air. Slowly rise. Reach tall. And let's fill our balloon with cool air. <sighs> Release back down. Very good. Now, let's be a party balloon. Fill yourself up with helium and let's go a little bit faster. Ready? Uh-oh, our party balloon is about to pop. <sighs> oh, did you make it? Awesome. Okay, guys, let's talk about body shapes. Now, I know what you're thinking. Miss Lily, my body is only one shape, a people shape. You're totally, totally right about that. But our bodies are made of all different kinds of smaller shapes. What do I mean by that? We have curvy shapes. Curvy shapes. Look at all of these round edges we have on our bodies. Round circles that we have. My head is even a round circle. My shoulders are round. And I can move my arms in a circle. Or I could go the other way. And I can use these curvy shapes to make new shapes, like a cloud. Very good. Now, straight shapes. We have our arms. We have our legs. We can use our whole body to make a straight shape. Look at all the different straight shapes we have on our bodies. Whoa, look at that. Very cool. We can use straight shapes to make an airplane. Or helicopter blades. Can I see your helicopter blade spin? Very cool. Okay, we also have angled shapes. These angles help us bend and flex. Like this, or like this, or like this. Can you show me an angled shape? Very good, nice, okay. We also have twisted shapes. Twisted shapes. Oh, can I see you make with your body a twisted shape? Can you maybe cross your arms and legs together to make a twisted shape? Twisted behind your Twisted in 
front of your stomach. Very nice, everybody. Let's review. Curvy shape. Now remember, your shapes can look just like mine, or you can make it your own. Show me another curvy shape. Very good. Now, straight shape. Straight shape. Give me another straight shape. And angled shape. Oh, it's hard to balance, but you can do it. You're strong. And another angled shape. And a twisted shape. Twisted shape. Twisted shape. These are so great. Now remember, your body shapes might not look just like mine and that's okay. All of our different body shapes are beautiful and unique just like they are. Let's move on. Let's talk about different objects in the sky. Number one, clouds. Did you know that clouds come in all different shapes and sizes, just like you and me? Let's talk about just three different kinds of clouds today. Number one, cumulus clouds. Now, these are the kinds of clouds you're gonna find on a sunny, bright afternoon with a blue sky. They're giant, big, and kind of remind me of cotton candy. Let's see you make a cumulus cloud. Nice, make another one. Very cool. One more time and remember, your shapes do not have to look like mine. Awesome job, guys. Okay, cloud number two. We have cirrus clouds. Now, these are the kind of clouds you're gonna find on a windy day. They look a little sharp and angled because they're made of ice crystals. So it's very, very cold. Let's see you make these kind of clouds. Number one. Good job. Make another shape. Number two. Very good. And number three. Good job, everybody. Okay, cloud number three, stratus clouds. These are the ones that look like a blank sheet covering the sky. You might see this kind of cloud on a rainy afternoon where it feels a little gloomy and the sky looks like it's pure white just because it's covered in so many clouds. So you might need to stretch your body long to be this kind of cloud. Are you ready? Go for number one. Stratus cloud, reach, 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 reach. Long and blank. Shape number two. Reach, 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 reach. Awesome job, guys. Do it one more time. Shape number three. Very nice. So clouds don't just stay in one place. They move through the sky. Usually very slow, but sometimes they can go fast. So let's see you do all your different kinds of clouds across the sky. Let's start with our cumulus cloud, big puffy cotton candy, sunny day cloud, curvy and move across the sky. Could you spin to show you're moving across the sky? Could you start going up and then start going down? Let's try to be cirrus clouds, wispy, windy, angled, 
ice crystals. Ready? Go. Remember, you don't have to look like me. You can make your own movements. Move across the sky. Oh, it's hard to balance. Ah. Good. Last time, stratus clouds, long, stretched, blank. Here we go. Move your shape across the sky. Move your shape across the sky. Move your shape across the sky. How'd you do? Awesome guys, great job. So why are clouds so important to us? Well, they hold rainwater. And when that rain fills too much, those clouds can't hold it all in anymore. They just have to let it out, let it out. That rainwater is so important because it fills up our lakes, our oceans, our rivers. Have you ever felt too full, too full, too full of emotions and you just had to uh, let it out by crying like a cloud? Have you ever felt angry and you just had to yell? Maybe you're being like thunder. Hmm. Have you ever felt too full of energy? <sighs> and you just wanted to run, run, run your way across the room and get all of your energy out? Maybe you're being like lightning. <sighs> Slashing its way fast across the night sky. <sighs> Is it okay to feel feel these big emotions? Absolutely. Is it okay to express these big emotions? Of course, there's nothing wrong with feeling these big feelings because sometimes you're being just like a cloud. So why are clouds so important to us? Well, they hold rainwater and when that rain fills too much. Those clouds can't hold it all in anymore. They just have to let it out, let it out. That rainwater is so important because it fills up our lakes, our oceans, our rivers. Have you ever felt too full, too full, too full of emotions and you just had to uh, let it out? by crying like a cloud? Have you ever felt angry and you just had to yell? Maybe you're being like thunder. Hmm. Have you ever felt too full of energy and you just wanted to run, run, run your way across the room and get all of your energy out? Maybe. You're being like lightning, slashing its way fast across the night sky. Is it okay to feel, feel these big emotions? Absolutely. Is it okay to express these big emotions? Of course, there's nothing wrong with feeling these big feelings because sometimes you're being just like a cloud. Okay, what else is in the sky? Birds, exactly. Now, just like you and me, birds come in all different shapes and sizes. Before we talked about our wings and how we can make them big or small. You can make them Fly slow.
or fast. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of work. Keep flying and land. Oh, very good. Now, how do birds stay in the air? Well, their wings press down on the air and create lots of pressure to lift them up higher and higher and higher and higher until they're ready to land and they stop moving their wings so fast and perch. Nice job, everybody. Have you ever seen birds flying in a V formation? Why do they do this? Well, there are two theories. Number one, they do this to make themselves more aerodynamic. This is just a big word that means they slice through the wind easier. So it's not pushing them back when they're traveling from one place to another. So if they're in a V, like a knife, they can slice through the air nice and smooth. Can you try this with your friends or family? Anybody who's around you? I'm gonna put on my timer for 30 seconds. And I want you to get together, make a V formation, and fly away. Are you ready? everybody now the second theory why do birds fly in a V so they don't get lost you can follow the leader and all stick together very nice everybody but here's the real answer scientists don't actually know why birds fly in a V these are all just guesses, theories. There's all sorts of mysteries out there that we're still trying to figure out. We're learning new things every single day, which is totally fun and super cool. So if there's ever something that you don't know, don't stress, look it up, ask questions, see if you can find the answer, and then you're acting like a scientist. Let's go over our bird shapes really fast. Ready? Show me a big bird. Where are we flying to, guys? Hmm. Show me a small bird. Show me a slow moving bird. And show me a fast moving bird. Your arms are gonna get tired soon, but you can do this. We can do hard things, everybody. Even faster, can you go faster? How fast can you make your wings fly? Three, two, one. Oh, relax. All right, one last thing that we might see in the sky. Aircrafts. What are aircrafts? Any kind of man-made object that's meant to fly. Now we already talked about hot air balloons, but what other kind of aircrafts are there? There are airplanes. Now airplanes were designed just like birds. They have these long wings that press down on the air and create pressure above and below the wings. That pressure lifts them up 
lifts them up and allows them to meow, 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 zoom. Can you show me your airplane? Airplanes have nice, long, straight wings, tall bodies, nice and strong. And show me how you zoom. Oh, but be careful. Don't run into anything next to you. Ready? Go. Meow. 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 Get ready to land. Whoa, are your arms tired? Ooh, mine are. Let's massage them out real quick. Shake it all out. Awesome. So another aircraft in the sky is a helicopter. Helicopters work a little bit differently than airplanes. They have these straight blades above their heads that spin and spin and spin. And when enough air pressure is created, they get lifted straight up into the air. Can you move your hands like helicopter blades? Ready? Remember, your helicopter doesn't have to look just like mine. How can you make a helicopter? Are your blades small? Are they big? Does it make you spin around in a circle? Ah! And let's slow down. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, we made it back down. Good job, everybody. Last aircraft, a rocket ship. Now, rocket ships work very different from the other two. They don't use air pressure. What they do use is fuel. Now that fuel burns up, it gets really, really, really hot. It comes out from the bottom of the rocket and it pushes the rocket up into the air. Kind of like a hot air balloon, except hot air balloons go slow, slow controlled hot air that lifts them up and slow controlled air that lowers them down. But rocket ships burn up all that fuel right away and push themselves off so they can really leave our atmosphere. Let's see, it's your turn. Make yourself a nice straight shape, rocket shape. Now let's see you burn up your fuel. It's getting hot. It's getting hotter. It's getting hottest and blast off. Did you make it? Are you in space? Nice job, astronauts. All right, let's review all of our aircrafts. Number one, airplanes. You can even make a noise to show your airplane. Now, helicopter. Good, let me hear your helicopter noises. Good, and go faster and faster and faster and so just slow down, 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 down. Down, down, down. Now our rocket ships. Your fuel starts to heat up. It gets hotter and hotter and hotter and blast off. So it takes a lot of courage to be a pilot for an airplane, a helicopter, and a rocket ship. Have you ever had a moment in your life where you had to be really, really brave? Think for a moment. 
maybe you had to speak in front of a really large crowd. Maybe you had to try something new, like a food or a sport or a game that you weren't familiar with. What if you didn't like it? Maybe you had to make a new friend. What if they're not nice to me? What if I don't know what to say? Guess what? We all feel this way sometimes, but trying new things is awesome. That's how we discover how strong we are and how exciting the world can be. So don't worry, there's gonna be plenty of opportunities for you in the future to show how brave you really are. It's time for us to make a dance using all the different objects in the sky. So, number one, I want you to pick your favorite kind of cloud. Remember we talked about those big puffy cumulus clouds? We talked about those stratus clouds. And we talked about those cirrus clouds. So just pick your favorite. It does not have to look like mine. Next, I want you to pick your favorite kind of bird. Is it a big bird? A small bird? A slow moving bird? A fast moving bird? You can even think in your head, what color is my bird? What kind of feathers do I have? Use your imagination. Okay, number three, you're gonna pick an aircraft. Do you wanna be a airplane? A helicopter? Or a rocket ship? Let's do it all together. Number one, be your cloud. Now let's move across the sky. Sometimes clouds move slow and sometimes they move fast. But as long as you just keep moving your body, everything's gonna be all right. Now let's transition into our bird. Three, two, one, go. You can move your bird around. You can move at different speeds. You can get big, you can get small. Now let's transition into our aircraft. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. I don't know if you can tell, but airplane is my favorite kind of aircraft. And we're gonna land. Three, two, one. Can we try it one more time? Let's go just a little bit fast. Ready? Cloud. Moving into bird. Into aircraft. And land. Awesome job, guys. I had so much fun with you today. We created all sorts of different objects in the sky. I want you to be on the lookout for different objects in the sky the next time you're going for a walk or driving in your mom's car. Thank you for creating with us today. Be sure to come back next time for a new virtual art studio session. Bye-bye.